The 2019 Summer Conventions of the Jehovah's Witnesses are almost upon us. This year's conference theme is Love Never Fails, based in part from 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 9, which reads, Taught by God to love one another. During this three-day conference, the Friday afternoon program is where the teaching on Love Never Fails begins to pick up steam. Under the 1.40 p.m. symposium, Love Never Fails Despite, there are various headings which read, Love Never Fails Despite a Loveless Upbringing, or Love Never Fails Despite a Difficult Work Environment. The link for the program is in the video description below. But then the last heading, Family Opposition, is where some confusion begins. Because if the governing body truly believes that love never fails, even in the face of family opposition, why do these same men teach that you should shun your family members if they disagree with various teachings and beliefs of the organization? To look at it another way, if you are a JW parent, and one of your children decide they no longer want to follow the truth as you have raised them to follow, wouldn't this perhaps possibly fall into the category of family opposition? For a Jehovah's Witness, no longer following the teachings of the Watchtower Bible and Tract Society may qualify as the greatest act of family opposition, even betrayal, there could possibly be. But love never fails, right? This is the message of this year's convention, is it not? Let's look at the program for Sunday morning. At 9.40 a.m., the discussion is titled, Remember How Love Behaves and Uses Scriptures from What Many Call the Love Chapter, 1 Corinthians 13. And what is the first heading? Love is patient and kind. Is it patient and kind to shun your family members simply because they don't choose to walk in lockstep any longer with the teachings of the governing body? Look down at the third bullet point. Love does not get puffed up, does not behave indecently. Is it ever decent to shun your parents? It is certainly not obeying the fifth commandment to honor your father and your mother. And it goes on. The next bullet point says that love does not keep account of the injury. But if you have been shunning your mom or dad or brother or sister or other family relatives for years, for some even decades, is this not keeping account of the injury and going completely against the teaching of love never fails? In fact, shunning, as practiced by Jehovah's Witnesses, is the exact opposite of Christian love. Can you find one single example of Jesus practicing the kind of shunning modeled and held up in such high esteem by so many Jehovah's Witnesses? Just one? I don't think you can. Many of my videos on Jehovah's Witnesses point out what I believe is the worst aspect of this false religious organization. Their amazing degree of religious hypocrisy where they preach one thing and do the exact opposite. Incredibly, most JWs lacking in self-awareness are blind to this damning sin. This upcoming convention is a perfect example. It revolves around the beautiful concept of love that never fails. Yet at the same moment, they are teaching this out of one side of their mouths. They demand out of the opposite side, you shun your family, friends, or neighbors because they happen to disagree with JW doctrine. Shunning, as practiced by Jehovah's Witnesses, is not only wrong, it is evil, cruel, and anti-Christian. I urge any witness 
who still might have a functioning conscience to stop this diabolical practice and today, even right now, to pick up your phone and call your parents or other family members if you have been shunning them, begging them to forgive you for such harsh, wicked treatment. Make peace with them today. Practice the love that never fails and repent before the Lord for this ungodly behavior. Please, thank you.